All right, good afternoon, everybody. This is May the 15th, 2017. Here I am at the corner of Lucerne and 6th Street. I am in the Hancock, Hancock Park section of Los Angeles of LA City. So I just want you to show, I want to show you so that you know for a fact, here I am. So, okay, we're in 6th Street right there. And then we got Lucerne up there. Now, why am I here in this section of Hancock Park? Because this is the mansion where Maxine Waters lives. Okay, she lives in a home. Well, she doesn't even live in her own district. Check this out, okay? We've got a mansion of sorts right here. We've got steps. We've got a property here. Bam. Okay, now, just as a reminder here, Congresswoman Maxine Waters, a.k.a. the crazy black lady, a.k.a. Um, female demon, okay, she lives here in this large property right here in, in Hancock Park. Right here in Hancock Park. But she represents Lomita, Torrance, Lawndale, Hawthorne, Gardena, South Los Angeles, including Athens, also Westchester and the LAX airport. So what is she doing here? What is she doing here? This is outrageous. Okay, she should be working for her community, her constituents. I understand that there was a press conference here about an hour ago. I couldn't make it. I had to attend to another event. So here we are. Okay, look at this. Now, how is it that a woman who's making $176,000 a year as a congressman, how is it possible that she now has a property this large? How does she become a multimillionaire that she can have a property right here in Hancock Park? How is this even possible? This is outrageous. Okay, so this is her home, but she represents a district that is about 20 miles south of here in the South Bay. So what is this madness? Could somebody please tell me what's going on? All right, so here we are. Everybody, this is where we have to start having our protests. 6th and Lucerne here in Hancock Park. This is a section of Los Angeles, California. 549 South Lucerne Boulevard. This is where Maxine Waters lives. This kind of a thing is just not acceptable. We just can't have this. Okay? Maxine Waters, she doesn't care about veterans. She's not taking care of the homeless. She is opening up our borders. She cares about illegals, but she doesn't care about black people. She doesn't care about Hispanic people. She doesn't care about Asian people, white people. These are the American citizens that she was hired to care about. So she lives high off the hog. She gets rich with taxpayer funded dollars. She draws a salary which is way too high considering what's, what little she actually does. She undermines our laws. She has no regard for the constitution and she lies repeatedly, repeatedly about our president pushing nothing but false narratives. Ladies and gentlemen, we gotta put an end to this nonsense. We cannot have these corrupt elected officials who think that they don't have to abide by the same laws that we abide by. They pass the laws, but they don't live underneath them. So here we are. Five, four, nine. And I'm here. I am supporting Omar Navarro for Congress. He is the up and coming conservative millennial Republican who is running against this nonsense and putting an end to this perversion. Enough is enough.